Here we introduce how to adjust the voltage on the reagent detection board. First, remove the two screws on the cover. Select the 20 volts DC range on the multimeter. When the two tubes are filled with reagent, the voltage on the TP1 and TP3 are between 0.17 to 0.23 volts. Remove the four screws on the buckles which used to tighten the reagent tubes. The next step is emptying the tubes. We can use an empty tube of the same specification with a reagent tube. Or take out the tube from the reagent bottle and click Replace Lice on the software interface. After that remove the glue on the potentiometer. Measure the voltage on the TP1 which is for Lice 2. Adjust the potentiometer BR3 to make the voltage at the test point 1.5 volt. Clockwise adjustment is this to increase the voltage. Counterclockwise adjustment is opposite. After adjustment, install the Lice 2 tube back. The procedure of adjusting the Lice 1 voltage is similar to Lice 2. Measure the voltage on TP3 and adjust VR2 to make the voltage at the test point 1.5 volt. Then, install the tube and two buckles back. When you install the buckles, do not screw it too tight, otherwise it will be damaged. Finally install the cover of reagent detection board. Behind the board, there are three interfaces. From top to bottom there is sheath flow interface, pressure signal output and reagent detecting signal output. On the other side of the board, please pay attention to the position of the two tubes, and do not connect it incorrectly. 
Besides, when you install the reagent storehouse, the pressure tube is easily be pressed. Please notice that.